I knew it wouldn't be long before the loss of life, the violence, the bigotry, the hate that unfolded in Charlottesville, Virginia, would turn into an indictment against the Republican Party and for some, America. Now America has always been perfect. Her citizens, you and I, we have not. But this is also the beauty of America. Because here in America, you can be forgiven for your mistakes. You can correct your actions. You can ask for forgiveness and be granted that. See, for me, I was blessed with a grandmother who knew in order for me to be successful in life, to meet the challenges that I would face, I would have to have a strong self-image, a strong knowledge of self, a strong knowledge of our nation. You see, my grandmother believed, as Frederick Douglass wrote, it is far easier to raise strong children than to repair broken men. Now, she said about teaching me these lessons as we visited it, perhaps America's largest Confederate monument located in Stone Mountain, Georgia. There you will find Southern generals carved into the mountain. Now, as we toured the facility, she would hold my hand. She would tell me lessons about the Confederacy. She would tell me lessons about our family. She would tell me lessons about America, the history of our country. Now, through those lessons, I learned self-reliance. I learned pride in our nation. So that when I walked by a monument, a Confederate monument, I never felt fear. I never felt diminished because I knew American values were inconsistent with the Confederacy. Now, as far as the Confederate flag, I knew there was only one flag that flew high above me, and that was Old Glory. My grandmother prepared me well. She prepared me to meet the challenges. She made me know the difference between responsibility and bad behavior. I knew very clearly, in order to be successful, I would have to have a strong knowledge of this country. And so that's why, when I think about the Republican Party, I know the Republican Party has not always been perfect. But God knows the Republican Party, we have gotten it right more often than we have gotten it wrong. The Republican Party started in 1854 to end slavery. Now, some would argue that the Republican Party of 2017 is not the Republican Party of 1854. I would beg to differ. The Republican Party has never advocated for denying an individual their freedom, never advocated for stealing the labor, the fruits of that labor, and transferring it to someone else. This is precisely why slavery was so offensive to conservatives in 1854. Keep in mind, the Republican parties are the architects of the 14th and 15th Amendment as well as the 13th Amendment. The Republican Party has fought the Klan since 1870. The Klan was established to intimidate blacks in the South as well as disrupt Republican-led governments in the South. Now, you don't have to take my word for this. I'd ask you to do the hard work that it takes to build strong children, self-knowledge, history. Read it for yourself. And I can guarantee you two things will happen. You will walk away with an undying love for this nation and a level of pride that no one can take from you. Thank you.